Hey, you podcasting idiots. That is right. I called you idiots. It's because most of you are missing out on one of the biggest traffic opportunities for your blog ever. And that is making content for every platform from a single podcast episode. Most of you won't do this because you're kind of lazy fucks. And that's usually why you started a podcast. You're like, oh, cool. I could just talk to people on the phone and I'll be as popular as Joe Rogan. Okay, dummies. Because I feel sorry for your lame asses, I'm going to help you out here. It takes a little bit of effort to do this, perhaps a few hours per episode. However, there are some huge benefits to doing this and creating content for each of your podcast episodes. One, you'll get SEO and direct traffic. Two, it's great to link to versus a simple, here's what's in this episode post. You know how most people just post on their blog. It's like, listen to this episode. And then they just like embed the player. No one ever links to that post. That is a lame post to link to. Whereas if you have a ton of content on that post that on its own, the post is so good, people will link to it. Then you have the potential to get a bunch of SEO traffic from this. Also, not everyone has time to listen to all your episodes. So at least if you make some real podcast show notes, ergo a real post, they can at least get the gist of a post rather than having to listen to the whole episode. And from a single great piece of content, you can get endless social posts to promote the post, to promote the video, to promote the podcast. For example, this post was easily turned into three Facebook posts, three LinkedIn posts, three Twitter posts, and you can embed it on any social media site you want. It's hard to do this with just a podcast episode, but if you make a whole blog post out of the podcast, it's so much easier to do this. Now, here is the entire process, and it's, it's quite simple, and it's pretty much what you already do with a few added steps, and it's this. One, record your podcast, preferably with the video component. Two, make a blog post out of the episode. Note, do not just post a transcript. That is not making a blog post. That's just posting a transcript. Number three, break it up into interesting clips. Number four, make an email to promote your post. Number five, make pre-scheduled social media posts. That's the whole thing. Now you do the same process for all your episodes or at least the really popular ones. And you have probably a hundred X times the exposure by being on every single platform rather than just a podcast episode. In fact, Rob started doing this for his podcast and he noticed something. He said, the guests usually won't share just a link to the podcast. However, they get way more excited when I make a whole article out of the show and they always share it. So we decided to do it for this specific post. And because we took a little bit of extra time to make the content on all these different forms of media, we now have a podcast episode, which is audio. We have a YouTube video, which is obviously video. We have a blog post, which people can read on their phone anytime they want, whenever they can't watch a video or audio. We have an email blast that is being sent out to promote this article. We have Twitter posts that are just taken from the images from this article and made into Twitter posts. We have LinkedIn posts, which is the same thing. We just took the images from this article and made LinkedIn posts out of it. We made this article into Facebook posts also by just taking the same images. We did Instagram posts and we did Reddit posts. So now, instead of just having a podcast only, just all by itself, all lonely over there, we have a podcast plus content that can be ranked, that's on social networks, that's having discussion. There's just a whole other segment of people that will be exposed to our podcast by putting in a little bit of extra work. So once again, that podcast content process is you record your podcast, preferably with the video component. Number two, make a blog post out of the episode, not just a transcript. Number three, break it up into interesting clips. Four, make an email. And five, make pre-scheduled social media posts. So if you do this over and over and over, you have a much, much larger chance of getting exposed to a lot of people rather than just promoting a simple podcast. I'm Neville Medora, and thank you.